What would happen if rookie quarterbacks end up swapping teams? Well, today we're about to find out. So now quarterback Jaden Daniels is on the Chicago Bears. And he easily has the best roster out of these three quarterbacks with Keenan Allen at a 90 overall and a DJ Moore at an 89. Caleb Williams is now on the New England Patriots. I'm pretty sure he's not too excited about that. He has Ramondre Stevenson at 81. And his wide receiver one in Kendrick Bourne to 80 overall. So those two aren't too bad. It's everything else he has. Drake May at a 74 overall on the Washington Commanders now with Austin Eckler at an 81. And Terry McLaurin at a 91 too. He's definitely a lot better here than he would have been on the Patriots. Race into the midseason point and see which one of these teams does the best. But before we do that, I need to take these quarterbacks on a test drive. So we're going to play the first game in the season. First up, we're going to do Caleb Williams on the Patriots. And so far, he's been picking this defense apart. And R1 is wide open. He gets in for a touchdown. KJ Osborne, that was pretty much a perfect first drop. On the second drop, Kendra Bourne is wide open on a slant. He breaks Ooh. one tackle. We got one guy to miss. He breaks that one as well, but then he gets down inside the 15-yard line. And there, we hit Hunter Henry on another touchdown. Touchdown pass. Oh, Caleb Williams to have a little bit of a complication with this Patriots roster, but it doesn't look like he has it at all. Sadly, in the fourth quarter, we are down 14 to 21. Now, the good thing is we are inside the 10-yard line. Bad thing, it's a third and five now. Somebody get up in here. I don't know why I threw that to triangle. He breaks the tackle. Break another one. Come on, you can get there. No, he did We're going to end up going for this. We need uh, three yards here to get the first down. Triangle is open here, and we get a touchdown. It's a tie game with four minutes left. First play of this drive up, Caleb Williams throws a perfect ball and then has a big run to get up us in the red zone already. We're not even inside the two minute warning. We're going to throw the square here and he catches it for a touchdown. We're up by seven points with two minutes left. One defense, can you please get a stop? And they can't get another touchdown. That should be game now. And yes, it is. We end up winning this game of 35 to 28. Now we're playing with Jaden Daniels on the Bears. Very first play, we hit Keenan Allen for a 30 yard pass. And then our second play, we hit him for a 31 yard touchdown. It doesn't get any easier than that. Inside the five yard line, I'm looking at Keenan Allen, but he's guarded. Oh yeah, let's use his rushing ability. And we run it in. Now the Tennessee Titans do battle back a little bit and we're tied 14 to 14. Hopefully we get two more touchdowns before halftime. One to Coco and the other one to guess who? Keenan Allen once again. I have no clue what our defense is trying to do. I guess they're just trying to lose this game because after our two touchdowns, we are losing with two seconds left before halftime. I guess we'll try one more play here before halftime. Why not? Roma Dunze catches it. Brace out of a tackle. And oh my god, he's going all the way. One to play a touchdown pass. This offense is absolutely crazy to play with. Again, and Jaden Daniels rolls out left for another touchdown. DJ Moore is one on one. Oh my god, he beat his man. Throw it up to him once again. He catches it to the 30. The 20, 15, 10, and gets down to five. Oh my God, I thought he was going to take that all the way. But then on the next play, I roll out right, and we run it in for another touchdown. Somehow our defense sucks that bad that we are tied 49 to 49, but we have the ball with three minutes left. So as long as we score here, I think we should be good. I'm going to throw it up to DJ Moore. Ooh, that could have been picked. And like I predicted, we did end up scoring a field goal with one second left. I swear, defense, if you let them score in one second, that's going to be bad. But they did, and we end up winning this game 52 to 49. Jaden Daniels had four touchdowns, and that's just passing with 508 yards. Our final team to play with is the Washington Commanders with Drake May. First play, they're just leaving Terry McLaurin one-on-one -on -one for some reason. I'm obviously just going to throw it up to him, and it's caught, and he's going to go in for the touchdown with this. To the 15, the 10, the 5, and yeah, like I said, touchdown already. And on our second drive, they leave Austin Eckler wide open for a 60-yard touchdown. Next drive, we hit Austin Eckler in for another 15-yard score. We hit Terry McLaurin for another one, and for some reason, our defense is just particularly bad every single time because we are only up by seven points after this kind of first half that we had. Thankfully, we hit Terry McLaurin for another long score. Defense, can you please get one stop? And they can't. We're down by 10 points. Thankfully, and not just one, but two plays, we score another touchdown. Defense, can you please? This would they only held them to a field goal. So we're only down by six, two minutes left. We can definitely win this, especially with this 70-yard touchdown pass to Terry McLaurin. It's honestly comical how bad these defenses are. EA, you got to fix this. But thankfully, we did end up winning this game up. 49 to 48. Now time for the fun part. We advance to the playoffs and see who makes it in, if any of them. And the Dallas Cowboys went 17 and 0. I know that has nothing to do with our video. That just surprised me. But actually, not a Ooh. single one of our teams made into the playoffs. With the Bears having the best record at 6 and 11, and both the Commanders and Patriots going 3 and 14. You have to be kidding me. I thought they would at least all have a winning season. At least one of them would get in the playoffs. If we look at our stats, it might show why because Dre May only had 666 yards, 10 touchdowns, and zero in interception so I guess he got hurt. Daniels only had 3,116 yards and 24 touchdowns to 17 interceptions isn't a good ratio. Caleb Williams had 3,290 yards to 26 touchdowns to 16 interceptions. And we at least win offensive rookie of the year and no, we can't do that either. Marvin Harrison Jr. won. But thanks for watching everybody. I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and I'll check you guys out next time. Peace.